Why Dad's face was so red? Is he's like this? I didn't want to lose my bacon. I didn't want to lose my pork chops. <laughs> Where, so is the pig in the pasture? No, I don't see anything in the pasture. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Which gate was open? That, that, both of these. That is weird. That was on purpose. Could you uh, stand there to that gate? Yeah. I'll do it. If I can bring them in, you can unlock it for me. Yes. Where did you go, Belle? Where did you go? Thank you for coming back. So that's one. Oh. Right here. Come on. Come on. Okay, there's one. There's brain right there. Good. We found the cow and one pig. We're looking for the other two pigs. Where are you, Rufus and Miss Fern? How many is that? Piper, I guess, right here with the. <laughs> I'm going to get That, ladies and gentlemen, is why you train your pigs to old bucket. That's why you always feed them the same color bucket. So if they ever do exactly what just happened, they know that you have feed. And then that's why you train your cow to a bucket of feed. Someone had to let them out, Nathaniel. I don't know. Well, think about it. They're chained up and this one and this one was open. What's up with that? The chain isn't broken, right? No. So what does that mean? Someone opened it. I know. You're Are you hungry. upset? You don't like the feed. I know. So. I'm not gonna lie. That me and the boys weren't outside yesterday. That that made my uh that made my heart skip a teeny bit. And you go in the other way, right? You don't even go in this way. My only thought could be when when our neighbor came by to talk to me. Yeah. It was hooked to its its own. It was hooked to a different chain and not itself. Because there's two chains right there for both gates. So it was hooked to a different chain and none of it was looped together. So And then one of the pigs must have leaned up against the gate or something. Are you upset? Look, we didn't ask you to go out there. 
Did you miss us? Oh, she's not happy. She said you had me in a strange place without any food. <laughs> oh. I don't know why she's all upset and funky right now. The cow and the three pigs were all gone. And I pray that we will get them. <gasps> Thank you, Lord. Well, it worked because let me tell you, no. um, Daddy had to find the cow, no. then leave the cow back, no. which you know how hard that is. No. Then he found one pig. He found Templeton, and no. Rufus and no. Miss Fern were off together. Because they're married, of course. Oh, they are? Yeah. So, Templeton came back in because he's like, Oh, banana peels, I like that. <laughs> so, he came in. And then he couldn't find Miss Fern and Rufus anywhere. He, we had to walk yeah. deep into the woods. Yeah. And then he, they saw the pig bucket. And, <laughs> and they came right in. Isn't that insane? Mm -hmm. Mommy? Yeah. Um, Two gates are open. Yeah, there was two gates open. Listen to this. Two gates are open, right? Chains are undone. Nothing's broken. So no one pushed through it. So someone opened up both gates. And the an all the animals escaped. That wasn't any of us. No, I know. We didn't go outside yesterday. Guys, Me and you guys. Only know. Daddy. But Daddy goes in the other gate. Exactly, Cody. It was probably back there somebody else. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Eli. I love you. <laughs> Mommy? Yeah. Um, are you filming us? The, the, when that one um, book don't come out. No. Yeah. Help! So Beneficial resources on the ground. Mommy, did you know you got either? Do that gives me five. You got pig and cow? Yep. How you got pig and cow? Yep, we got we got the pig and cow in the pasture. So how it has your heart settled down? <laughs> it has. She Miss Thang, our cow. She's, she's on like high alert. She was like she wouldn't even come up to me with like the grain and bucket a little bit. And then when she did. So do you think someone spooked her? I don't know. But she was like on the defense for sure. And I don't know too if she felt like she had to like protect the pigs. Oh. When well, she, she was excited when they started coming back. Yeah, she was acting pretty crazy. But like usually when I feed her grain, I like pet her on yeah. the neck, you know? Yeah. And like when I went to reach and pet her, she just like, she like, I mean, she like bolted back. Like I was guaranteed something. So it sounds like somebody. Well, that or they got out and then she was just in like a. Real spook. Real spook, protective mode. So, so she's eating now. I put a fresh bale of hay in there and she's tearing it up. So she's, okay. she's settling back down. That's why we keep them in fences. Not only does it protect them, but it's protect everything else as well. That's so crazy. Yeah, I'm not sure, but my heart belt sank to my... I know, and you would think if it was them getting out, there would be damage to the gate. There would be damage to the fence. Like, yeah. there's none of that. Well, I went to go feed the pigs because they're the first ones I feed. Uh-huh. I know. I was watching you. <laughs> and so I go out, and I'm like, I don't hear them. I'm Oh, it's colder today. So maybe, like, they were sleeping or, like, hidden somewhere. I mean, it's not typical in the morning. They're, like, loud and ready for food, you know? I know. Well, I looked. I saw you at the bucket. This is my perspective. I see you at the bucket, right? And then I'm like, I saw you look around. You looked around the pasture. And I thought to myself, I don't see the pigs coming to him. So then I see you turn around and you're like super red. 
and you're running towards us. And I thought, oh my gosh, I'm picturing them hurt in the field, if you know what I mean, by some animals. Right. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So that's, I opened up the deck. I asked you what happened and you said you can't find them. So I'm like, what does that mean? And you said you can't find the cow. Right. So then, so what you noticed the two fence, I mean the two gates were opened. Yeah. yeah. And you were like, how that happened? Right. And then I didn't see them at all. The pigs or the cow standing right there by our gate. Graham, Graham, Graham. Seriously? <laughs> You causing trouble? So I didn't see them uh -huh. standing at all, even from right there. Yeah. So I said, so I told myself, I'm gonna get the bucket and I'm gonna get a bucket of grain. Mm -hmm. So if I do find them, that they'll follow me. And then of course I made it only just a little ways, and then she, the bell was standing on the back of our pasture where the fence finishes the corner. Oh. She was probably like ten feet past that. Yeah. And she was just standing there. Like what happened? <laughs> but she, she was standing there, like I guess in protective mode, because one pig was here and two pigs oh. were over here. She was in the center of them, basically. Bell. So, so maybe she's like, "Where were you?" Right. So <laughs> I had to protect me, everybody. She saw me. She saw me with the bucket. Uh -huh. She came right away. Oh, good. So <gasps> the three or four weeks of doing <gasps> the bucket grain training with the cow is was huge. Because if we didn't do that, yes. she would probably never came. And we'd, have, uh, we'd be out there for hours trying to get her back in. And Eli was in here praying, he said. Thanks, buddy. And so... And also, how if you don't know the cow's in there, how we didn't know our cow was in there, and there's like a corner over <clears> here, <throat> and she would always just stand there and wait for our food, and there was nobody there. Yeah. So I don't know if, like, when I got her to the gate... Why, I don't know why she refused to come in because she wanted the grain. Yeah. And she kept like not wanting to come in. And it, I know she wasn't scared of me, but see, the pigs were still out there. So I don't know if she uh, felt like she had to stay out there with them. Yeah. So obviously we got her in by like, I threw some, the bucket on the ground. Yeah. She stuck her head in and then I, I tapped her in the butt with the gate. Yeah, I saw that. And then that spooked her into the mm -hmm. gate. But she followed Mom. us. You saw us. She followed us the Mom. whole pasture Mom. while we were getting the pigs. Mom. You know, mm -hmm. like she followed us to the end of the pasture. Mm -hmm. And then as the pigs were coming, you remember she followed us mm -hmm. back. Like she, and then when we got them in, like, and then she just kind of stood there, like really like in like a, mm -hmm. kind of like a, still like a high alert mode. So hopefully she's, I mean, she's eating now, which means, to my, tells me she's kind of subtle a little bit, but. That's so crazy. <clears throat> I was freaking out. Yeah, I, I was just like, I don't even know. Cause I'm like, first of all, I don't even know what happened. And then second, I'm like, where they could be anywhere. I know, I know. Now, luckily pigs are, pigs aren't the brightest. So they let like a trail of breadcrumbs. Oh, they did? Like Hansel and Gretel, yeah. Because you would <laughs> see like, you would see like smooth leaves and then piles of leaves stuck up. Wait, so they must have been out there they for were, quite yeah, a they bit. they were digging. Oh yeah, probably at least a couple hours. <gasps> No. Yeah, and so you just saw all these like little piles where they they screwed no up with their nose. way. They read it with their nose, and then finally I just kept yeah. following it, and then there they were. Mm. And so I knew if I got if I got Rufus, the other one would follow. Right. Because right. Rufus is our main yeah. Our main board. Well, you saw good. Rufus and Miss Fern were together, and then you had Templeton by himself. Right. Mm. Yeah. So. But we'll probably we're gonna expand the pasture this year anyways. So yeah. Uh, we'll put the pig back there and let them root it all up. Yeah. We'll just make sure it's a good fence. And then plant. Oh my. And yeah. guess what's also pretty funny? You know how you saw Dad's face red? Ball was in it. And yeah, the reason I came, I, the reason I came running back to tell you was so, so you know, so you knew, so you were yeah. like, where are you at? And yeah. I was gone for an yeah. hour and a half trying to get him. Yeah. And so, and then of course you came out and helped. Well, yeah, because I'm like, I don't even know what you're, you know, what's gonna happen, what you're gonna find. So I was like, Eli and Cody, watch the babies. If you need me, yell from the deck. <laughs> So I'll have to probably today when I get home from work, I'll have to fix the gates and like secure the chain, like how I do like where you wrap it and put it on like a hook or something. Yeah. So that we, so I, we know like they're all like hooked. Yeah. Visually. If it happens again, we need to put like camera out there. Yeah. That's crazy.
Why Dad's face was so red is he's like, I didn't want to lose my penguin. I didn't want to lose my poor 